Staying on top of your inbox is no easy task, especially when you have a large volume of emails coming in every single day. We see people using different tricks to stay organized. Some people flag emails, others move emails into separate folders, some mark emails as unread again, but that just feels like one hack after another. In this video, I want to show you how you can use Yablo for Outlook to stay organized, work together with your team and get more done in less time. Okay, let's start with the first one, staying organized. Before I show you how you can add more structure to your inbox, let me show you the basics of Yablo first. Whenever you have an email that you need to follow up on, open the Yablo add-in and hit this button to add the selected email to your board in Yablo. See how the email changes into a conversation card and gets added to the assign to me section of your board. If you want to make sure that you don't forget about this email, hit this button on the conversation card and select a due date. Yablo will remind you when you risk missing a due date and you can follow up on all your scheduled work in the upcoming section of your board. Now click the assign to me card to get an overview of all conversation cards assigned to you. Select the card and the email conversation opens in a pop-up window. Once you're ready to reply, hit the reply button and you're ready to go. Now that you know how you can add important emails to Yablo, let's take this a step further. Hit this button to open your board in a new window. All your email conversations are laid out as cards on a board. You can organize your conversation cards using drag and drop. For example, I created a list for all my emails I need to reply to, a list for all my emails I only need to read, and so on. And the great thing is that you can fully customize this so that it suits your own workflow. You can organize your board in various ways. If you click the View Options button, you can, for example, organize your board by due date. This gives you one single overview of your schedule and make sure that you focus on the conversations that are most urgent. Note that you can use drag and drop to reschedule your work. If you click on a conversation card, that conversation will open in a pop-up window, so there's no need to search for it in Outlook. From the pop-up window, you can reply to your messages, and once you're done, simply close the conversation and the conversation disappears from your board. That's one less email you need to take care of. Now, what if you need to keep track of something that is not related to an email? No problem. Simply hit the Add button on your board and add a new card. Okay, let's move on to our second topic. When you get requests from customers, often you need to get teammates involved to get the right information or to get certain things done. Let me show you how you can use Yablo for Outlook to work more efficiently with your team and get answers to your customers faster. Let's get back to our board and open the conversation card I've been working on. I need to get some help from colleagues on this one. Typically, I would start forwarding this email to colleagues, but that just creates separate copies of email threads and makes it very hard to follow along. In Yablo, you can use comments to have internal discussions with teammates. Simply mention a teammate to include him or her in the conversation and write your message. Use comments to quickly ask questions and share information with your team without kicking off separate email threads. The great thing is that comments are displayed as part of the overall conversation, but they're always kept private from your customer so you never risk sharing internal discussions with your customer by accident. Also, each conversation card in Yablo can have an owner, 
so you never have to guess who is responsible. Simply click the Assign To button and assign it to one of your teammates. For example, if I assign this conversation to Sam, this conversation card will appear on Sam's board. Okay, we all have a lot going on, so let me show you a few tips and tricks to manage your inbox more efficiently with Diablo. Let's go back to one of our previous emails and open it in Diablo. Okay, first tip. Customers might send you emails with very generic subjects, which makes it difficult to remember what this email was about when going through your pending emails. Diablo lets you change the subject of a conversation to something that is more meaningful to you. So instead of this generic subject, you could change it to something more meaningful like this. Don't worry, this won't change the subject for your customer. It is only for your own convenience. Okay, a second tip. Wouldn't it be great if you could attach little notes to an email? For example, something you should not forget when you reply to your customer. I already showed you how you can use comments to have internal discussions with your team, but you can also use these comments to add little notes to the conversation. If you need some more space, you can expand the comments field into a larger note. The note becomes part of the conversation and is right there in front of you when you reply to your customer. Let's move on to the next tip. You might send out very similar answers to your customers. Instead of turning this into a repetitive task, you can use message templates in Diablo. Message templates are your safe responses to common questions and allow you to respond faster to inbound messages. Select one of your templates to quickly compose your message. Okay, last tip of the day. When you send a reply, you might be expecting a reply back to your message. To make sure you follow up on your message, you can use the send and snooze option in Diablo. If you don't get a reply before the selected time, Diablo will send you a notification. One last thing you need to worry about. So this is Diablo for Outlook in a nutshell. We hope you will like it and see you in the next video.